let's compare the two most commonly tested and most notorious blister forming diseases. On the left side, we have pemphigus vulgaris, which is very severe and fatal. And on the right side, we have bullous pemphigoid, which is a lot less severe and not very fatal. They are both autoantibodies mediated and they are both type 2 hypersensitivity reactions. Pemphigus vulgaris is due to autoantibodies against the desmosomes, which connect the cells together, side by side. And when this is disrupted, we see loose skin everywhere, that if you rub off this skin, it will easily break off. And this is known as Nicholas sign. On the other hand, bullous pemphigoid is autoantibodies against the hemidesmosomes, which are basically half desmosomes. These connect these cells to the basement membrane. And if you remember from the skin's layer video, the basement membrane separates the epidermis from the dermis. So the skin will be very loose and there will be a gap between the dermis and epidermis. This gap will allow some fluid to accumulate and this translates as tense blisters. These blisters are tense because we have a full dermis upon them. And if you leave them alone, they will go away as the fluid will be absorbed over time, leaving no scars. And if you rub the skin, there will be no separation between the cells because, because they're very well connected together. So we have a, a negative Nikoloski sign. So in Pemphigus vulgaris, we do have scars and in Bullus pemphigoid, we do not have scars. In Pemphigus vulgaris, we have extensive mucosal involvement and in Bullus pemphigoid, we don't. In Pemphigus vulgaris, the bulla is very flaccid and can easily break off. In Bullus pemphigoid, the bulla is very tense. Under immunofluorescent light, we have a reticular pattern around the Pemphigus vulgaris, which makes sense because the antibodies are going all around the cells. And in Bullus pemphigoid, we have a linear pattern, which also makes sense because the involvement is along the basement membrane. These two diseases are very commonly tested in the exam and, well, it's kind of a big topic in dermatology, so you have to know a lot about them. So make sure that you memorize them very well. Use the link below to get access to the full dermatology course. This includes more than 60 lectures with study notes and revision cards. You will also get access to the flashcards and MCQs. Thank you for watching.